So that's an invention. Well, it's a nuclear, he's a nuclear chemist. So. And he's into, uh, well, not that his body's melting them. And then using the, uh, biological from it. Be apocalyptic. This just sounds kind of evil, if you ask me. Yeah. Yeah, an apocalypse. Lose the range. And sex it uses a, uh, you know, uh, nitro for blood pressure, for heart attack, to uh, check the adrenaline out of the people. He has a lot, yeah, so it's perfect. Hell, freak like that. Last time it was easy to buy. Well, since I can't find that one, then I'll show you this other one. I can. Now this is a GPS map. Well, anyway, you can't see it, but because I can't get the damn thing dialed in right. See that house right there? Yeah. If you went and walked in the front yard, you'd smell a locked wood burn smell. It's all boarded up. Nobody lives there. Um, Cause they like torch place. You know what's that? with the chemistry I'm talking about? It looks like California. That's Arizona. So you've been down there too, Arizona as well, Texas. Yeah. And, uh, but, where, uh, where do you feel most at home? Hmm. Couldn't answer that. But anyway. So yeah, tell me what it's how hard it's been. <laughs> no. I don't know. It, it's such a long story. What's, what's the part that stands out in your mind? Well, right at the moment, yeah. is uh, Trump. Oh, yeah. And uh, Korea. <laughs> you know, both going in different directions. Korea looking for peace, and Trump being standing because uh, the real Trump. Died nine months ago. Nine months ago, I got a call from. I, uh. What's been two terms on the Obama's protection team? Out here? It is, it is a big issue. Um. And then when Obama. You know, uh, stop being the president, whatever the words are. I went to Texas and back, and I had to take a reality test to be able to quit and get off the active NSA agent registry because it was just causing me too much hell. Did that work? Yeah, until until nine months ago when Trump and the president of uh, China called me. An apocalypse up there, Yahoo. Uh, well, the Vegas, they know me. You know what I do. You know, they appreciate me around here. All they do is try to run me down and whack me. <laughs> Your experience here hasn't been that good, has it? It used to be good, but it's been a lot of years and it ain't been good, so. Got a lot of rough years here. Yeah, you used to work years ago too. You, you did mechanics. Yeah. 
Have you had any work in the past five or ten years? I try to stay away from it. I got it. <laughs> I got no problem. Oh, yeah. Without trying, without trying to think of working on something. Um, constantly, you know, happy to reprogram channels and um, this last trip out, I checked every agency. All we got is uh, is um, police. We got no uh, we got no White House, we got no Pentagon, we got no FBI, we got no Federal Marshals, we got no uh, Homeland Security. I mean, I went to the airport in Portland, they don't have scanners, nothing. Nothing. I mean, you walk in there, you walk in the back room, you're dead. It's all shut down right now. It's like the government isn't running at the moment. No, not really. I mean, I don't know. I was in Flagstaff. They kept, you know, trying to get people to sign the the boat thing. Mm. Keep telling them, keep telling them, you know. And they already knew that because they're the ones. But they still, you know, just to get to live, they still have to take take out the sheet from where they're from. That was rigged. Well. I wouldn't say it's necessarily big, but well, until I can, uh, I'm thinking like four months at the earliest that I can get on a bus and go to Vegas and live in a homeless shelter or whatever until I can get a place. I heard it's more organized there, like they really have security, you know, they have fences, they have guards. Like it's yeah. Big. And the last time I was there, you know, part of it was in not very good condition. There's, there's, there's problems there too. You know, the first time I was there, you know, I just got stuck in the bus. The lady wouldn't let me uh, back on the bus because my hair was all messed up. So I got stuck out in Vegas all night. When I got breakfast the next morning, all these people come bum rushing me for help, know who I am, and, you know, had no idea how to get a hold of me. So, you know, I helped them and got on the bus and left. You know, and, a few of them got on the bus and went with me to keep communicating. Um, I, again, I did a, a one of them had a, a has a private bank vault, you know, where the people are having security issues. And so I upgraded his security system, told him what to do. And, um, in exchange, I got. A uh, phone chip, you know, so I could, but I ended up having to flush it down the toilet because the damn thing was too strong. But, uh, what was it doing? No, it was, uh, it was, uh, giving people a line of credit from his, from the money in his bank vault. It on top of his bank vault. Little, little phone chip, not that big. But, uh, that and uh, you know, since they had that, they also you know got rid of a large group of people that were you know always shit falling around harassing me. Um, yeah. All right, how are you? And, all right, they just told them the day in the life of Lee is not paid for. Called oh, no. me. She's good. What do you? Well, I mean, and and Portland. I mean, you go up to 82nd Posture, you turn right, and one of the time when I when I left at the end of Obama's term, you know, I had to you know do something. I had sent a bunch of kids into an enemy with a lab, steal it. But um, four years later, I go up to Portland, you know, I'm up there blown up underground 
shit save a girl, it's mainly my thing. I don't, I, I go out of my way to, to help. Go to protect girls from my life that I care about. You know? uh, but anyway, I did something impossible down there, trying to save somebody, and I went up, went up there, and I went to go over to the guy's house because. I don't know, I was going to try to, you know, see if we'd get along at all. The whole side of town is not even there. It's New Gresham now. I mean, like, you fall down, like, I don't know how many feet. But I had to get off the bus and then walk back out. It was hard to get back out of there. It was gone. We, we, yeah, it melted into the ground. What, what do you suppose caused that? <laughs> what he had in his back room. Nuclear, nuclear chemicals. You were you expecting that to happen? When you no, I had, I no, uh -uh. Yeah. no, no. I knew he had a computer back there that he wouldn't give up, but I didn't know he had a table full of basically buckets full of nuclear chemicals. You know, and. Uh, If I could get anybody to do anything, you know, they shut down Trojan, right? They didn't shut down the chemistry lab. They didn't remove all the chemicals or anything from the... They didn't take it out. No. And it's a problem. It's like anybody could go in there and get it? Uh, the way they do things, yeah. It's about... It's like you say, part of Gresham has disappeared. Well, Portland, I mean... Old Felling Flats is where, you know, where we used to run around up there in Portland. You know, where I did, anyway. And the left side is still there, but if you go to the right, it goes, I don't know, six blocks or something, and then it goes downhill. And it's, I didn't go all the way out there, but, well, I mean, Yeah, I don't know what to say there, but no. the so people you, there, I mean, you think you'll be doing better once you get out off the coast? Yeah, it depends whether I got rid of Keith Morgan. Or not. How so? Because uh, should I get come in the phone? You got video. Oh, yeah. Should I get enough? I should have enough power.